The Christmas season is over and as you begin to take down all of your decorations, many of you will be getting rid of your Christmas trees. I want to show you what I saw this morning when I was walking the dog. That's right. This is my first Christmas tree that I've seen on the curb ready to get recycled. Today we're talking all the do's and the don'ts of recycling. Uh, we are going to talk about Christmas trees, but we're going to talk about much more than that as well. You can text in your questions at the number on your screen 336-379-5775. We're going to answer your recycling questions. Questions. Remember, your questions are anonymous, but you get your question answered in real time. All right, so we have Macy DeMoss from Greensboro Recycling and Waste Reduction. She's an educator. She's answering your questions today. All right, first and foremost, let's talk about the trees. What should you do if you want to recycle the tree? Perfect. So we have two types of trees that we can um, that we're going to dispose of. Right. We've got real trees, which are um, ones that we're going to put out on the curb for um, on the same day as your recycling day with our yard waste. So you're gonna put that out. If it is longer than five feet, you're gonna wanna cut it in half so that we're able to pick it up and just make sure that there are no ornaments on it, there are no decorations on it, and we're gonna pick it up as yard waste. It will go to the White Street Landfill and um, we have our composting operations there so it will get composted and get turned into earth again. Right. Um, what happens if you don't strip your real tr your real tree before you put it out there? So then we're going to have contamination in our composting and somebody will have to just go through and pull off all those ornaments and all the tinsel and everything. And it just causes a problem for us. Right. That's a lot of man hours that don't need to be wasted for that. So just take all your exactly. stuff off. All right. Let's talk exactly. about artificial trees, real trees, because you can recycle everything, right? So artificial trees, actually, um, mm. if they are still working, of course, we want to encourage you to donate those, give them to someone else. If you just don't want it anymore, try to give it to someone else before you put it out on the curb for bulk pickup. So that will be with your bulk pickup. Um, someone will come get that and then it goes to the landfill, unfortunately. So artificial trees do not get recycled. They are landfill, just like normal garbage. You know, we have some people who are asking, like, is it okay to burn a tree? So um, don't burn any artificial trees for <laughs> sure. Um, a real tree, you know, if you're burning safely, that might be something that you want to do. Um, a, it may be better to compost it and give it to us for composting because that gets turned back into soil. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at the other things that we can recycle or can't recycle. So my thing is people always have like their drink cups, like Starbucks cups, whether they're hot or they're cold or they're takeout containers and they're thinking to themselves, surely this is recyclable. Yeah. So uh, cups, any type of cups and most stuff you actually get from fast food restaurants are not recyclable. So cups, including the lid, including the straw, nothing about uh, like a fast food plastic takeout cup is recyclable. Same thing with solo cups, red solo cups, um, paper cups, really any kind of cup, got to throw it in the trash. It's not recyclable. Do not recycle it. All right. So this person is asking, can I recycle plastic and paper milk cartons? Oh, okay. So um, cartons are actually, that's a good way to put it because cartons are made up of multi layers. So, you know, there's, it looks like cardboard from the outside, but if you actually cut into it, you would say that there's a plastic liner or even maybe like an aluminum liner on the inside. So we do not recycle those. We're not able to recycle those here in Greensboro. So you would throw any kind of carton, like a milk carton, a juice carton, soup comes in carton. Sometimes you would throw those all in the trash. Okay, but the plastic milk jugs, those you can recycle. Yes, plastic milk jugs are fine for recycling, just not the cartons. Okay, um, someone's asking, should you leave a top on the bottles, like the water bottles, or do you want them to be taken off? Oh, that's another good, well, great question. So you can actually leave the bottle cap on if it twists on. So for example, a soda, like if you get a Sprite, um, and you want to leave the cap on, that is perfectly fine. Twist it on, keep it on. If it pops off, like um, a butter tub, you know, the lids kind of pop off, it's going to pop off at the recycling center and end up contaminating something like paper. Um, so if it pops off, leave it off. But if it twists on, you're good. You're good. Okay. All right. We're continuing to take your text questions when we come back. Remember, 336-379-5775. We're going to be talking about styrofoam and those boxes that you are now hoarding in your garage or whatever from all the stuff from Christmas. We're talking about that when we come back.